Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. I hope you all are having a great day. If you're eager to elevate your Shopify store and take it to the next level, you're in the right place. Well, in this video, we'll show you everything you need to know about running Google Ads seamlessly within your Shopify account. Stick with us till the end to ensure you get every step along the way. So in order to get started, you'll need two key components, your Shopify account and a Google Ads account. Once you've got those sorted, we are ready to begin. Let's start with Shopify. First of all, open up your browser and into the search bar type Shopify. Click on the website that appears, which should be shopify.com. In the top right corner, you'll see two options, login and start free trial. If you already have a Shopify account, simply click on login. If you're new to Shopify and want to give it a try, click on start free trial. Since I've already set up a free trial account, I'll simply click here to log in and get started. Now it will prompt you to log in by entering your email. I'll opt for the Google Mail option. Simply enter your email ID and click on the next button. Then type in your password and hit next once more to proceed. As you can see, we've successfully entered our Shopify account. Over on the right side, you'll notice your store name where you can manage basic settings and configurations with ease. Here, you'll find the products tab. Clicking on it will display all the items listed for sale on your website. While my list isn't extensive, I've added a pair of shoes. Feel free to take a closer look by clicking here. You'll see images showcasing the product, along with detailed information and the price I've set. So moving forward, the first thing you need to do is click on the apps options here. And in the search bar, type Google. Then click on the first option that appears, which is Google and YouTube. So this one should be actually driving you into a section called the applications of Shopify Marketplace. Simply hit the install button, then click here once more to proceed. Now this application is designed to boost your sales and expand your customer reach. By connecting your Google account, it will help you add all the necessary elements into your Google account for optimal performance. What you need to do is just click on the connect account button then choose your Google account, then press continue. And finally click on allow. And there you have it. You'll see a confirmation stating that this account is now synced with Google and YouTube. Moving ahead in our journey, let's open a new tab and search for Google ads. Click on this website. Here you'll be prompted to sign in with your Google Ads account or begin by creating a new one. Since I already have my Google Ads account, I'll click on the sign in button. If you want, you can create yours. It's a very easy process. Our account is now opening. So this is what our Google Ads dashboard looks like. Now, our next step is to create a new campaign. So we'll click on this new campaign button. Here, you'll select your objective or goal for your Google Ads campaign. Whether it's driving sales, generating leads, increasing website traffic, promoting your app, or encouraging local store visits. Choose the option that aligns with your objectives. Since our goal is to let people know what they're actually doing with our website when they click there, it is really important to choose the option that says leads. So now I'm going to hit the continue. Next, we'll choose the type of campaign that best suits our needs. There are several options available, including performance max, search, display, shopping, and video which can be displayed on platforms like YouTube. We'll proceed with the search option. Because you see, if we go to our Shopify page and head over to the products section, I've listed campus shoes there. So when users search for campus shoes on Google, our ad will appear leading them to our Shopify page. So we will stick with the search option. Now we need to choose the results we aim to achieve with this campaign. Since our goal is to attract new visitors to our website, We'll select website visits. Here we'll need to enter the URL of our Shopify store. Simply switch to the Shopify tab, navigate to online store and then click on view your store. Now it will redirect us to a new page where we can see our store which in my case is very simple one with pre-installed theme. Here you can check out the store name. Mine is tips store which is inspired from the name of my YouTube channel teach me tips. So this is the URL of our Shopify store, which we have to select and copy. And paste it over here. Now we need to give our campaign a name that clearly reflects what we're advertising. 
for instance, we will write leads for Shopify, then click on the continue button and then click on start new. Now on to the next step that is bidding. These settings determine how much you're willing to pay for a single click on your ad as well as your bidding strategy. We'll stick with the clicks option and set our maximum cost per click bid limits to 50 rupees. Click on next. Moving on, we have to define our general campaign settings that will apply to all of the ads inside of our campaign. The search and display networks are selected by defaults, so let it be. Moving on to locations. We need to select where we want our ads to be displayed. Choose the locations that align with your target audience and campaign objectives. Under the location option, you can choose to target audiences who are physically present in your selected locations or have an interest in those locations. By default, it's set to presence or interest. As for languages, we'll simply choose the language of our target customers, which in our case is English. Now getting to the audience segments. This feature helps you to find a little bit more specific target audience. So if I just enable this option, I hit here into search. Let's say that I wanted to focus for people who are interested into shoes. So I select the shoes option. Now, if you click on more settings, here you have the option to specify a start and end date for your campaign. If you don't plan on regularly checking your Google Ads account, it's a good idea to set an end date. Additionally, you can also define your ad schedule here, if you prefer your ads to be displayed only at certain times during the day. Click on the next button. Moving forward, if you click under the keyword section, you'll be prompted to get suggestion for your ad. Simply choose the create myself option. Next, enter the product you want to advertise. So we will write running shoes here and click on update keyword suggestions. Then click on replace. And you'll see that your keywords have been updated. In the ads section, you'll notice that the URL of our Shopify store is already mentioned. Now we need to type the headings, which we want to be displayed in our ads. So I will fill out these headings quickly. Similarly, we need to enter the product description like this. Once done, scroll down and click on the next button. Now, onto the final and crucial step, setting the budget. Typically, you'll find the highest amount at the top. You can select any budget from here or set a custom one by entering your desired amount. So I will enter 200 rupees. You can enter according to your currency and budget, then click on the next button. Then Google will run various checks and error scans. If everything is all right, you can proceed to click publish campaign. And congratulations, your ad has been successfully published and your product on your Shopify store will now be advertised. You can also check and track its performance from the overview section later on. And that's all for today. If you found this video helpful, please leave a like. Also, don't forget to subscribe to our channel for more informative videos like this. Thank you.